Welcome! In this tutorial series, we'll take a guided tour of Edison, FL Studio's advanced wave editor and recorder plugin. Use the index in the video information below if you're looking for something specific. In this video, we'll show you how to analyze the pitch of a sample, export them for use with samplers, and how to denoise a recording. Let's grab a monophonic example file. Edison can detect notes in a WAV file by using the Detect Pitch Regions option in the Regions menu. Edison will analyze the file and make a region bounded by markers for every note it detects. This is helpful for figuring out the key or tune of a monophonic audio file that means single melody, no chords, like this one. Useful where a tuner plugin doesn't work. After pitch detection, you may want to export your file as multi-samples for creating sampler patches. Click the File menu and choose Export Regions for sampler use. Then make a folder for your exported files. Here they are in the browser, automatically named with pitch and velocity information that DirectWave can read and automap to instantly create a multi-sample patch. Everyone who's used a microphone and tried to record something will know, recordings can be noisy. That can be hiss from the system or external background noises. To help, Edison comes with a few audio restoration options to help you out, like the denoiser. I've set my mic up next to a running AC to record the following sentence to create a worst case scenario. This is quite loud. I'm having to speak up to even hear myself. Perfect. Let's select a portion of the audio without my voice in it, so we're getting just the noise. Now, right click the brush icon to acquire the noise profile. Doing this will tell Edison that what I have selected is in fact noise. Then I can select all the audio with my voice in it. After that, left click the brush icon to open the denoising tool. Notice we also get a declipper and declicker. I'll turn those off while we concentrate on denoising. The green line in the middle of the display represents the noise profile we just acquired. Threshold determines the level a signal must be at before it's left alone by the denoiser. This is different on Mac. Mac users get a smoothing control which reduces artifacts from high amount values, and amount controls how strong in decibels the attenuation is. Let's preview these settings. This is quite loud. I'm having to speak up to even hear myself. That's already a lot better. To listen to what you're removing, click output noise only. When using it this way, you want to minimize recognizable audio and just have the noise audible. Higher threshold values will remove more noise, but can also remove parts of the desired sound. This is quite loud. I'm having to pick up to even hear myself. That cut a sizable chunk out of my voice. Let's dial it back. This is quite loud. I'm having to speak up to even hear myself. Once you're happy with the noise reduction, click Accept. Make sure you turn off output noise only Otherwise, you will be left with the noise only. And with that, you're now well equipped to start using Edison and its tools to analyze pitch and denoise your recordings. As always, remember to check the video information for segments, any relevant manual or video links, and the music used in this video. 